What's going on? Got another math video for you. This, is, this one has to do with vectors. That's a word problem, so let's take a look at it. It says Gandalf the Grey started in the forest of Mirkwood at the point negative one, two, and arrived in the Iron Hills at the point zero, seven. If he began walking in the direction of the vector, 3i plus 2j and made one right angle turn, what are the coordinates of the point where he changed direction? All right, so let's take a look at this. All right, so let's, let's plot the points and see if we can figure this thing out. All right, so he started, he started at negative one, two. So negative one, two, that's right here. That's negative one, two. And arrived at the Iron Hills at the point zero, seven. So that's gonna be the point up here. That's the point zero, seven. And it says if he began walking in the direction of the vector, 3i plus 2j. So remember, this vector here, that's the same thing as if you wrote that vector. So if we go over 3 and up 2, that's the direction that he walked. Okay. So, so he's, walking, he's walking in this direction right here. And what he did is he took a right turn and went to the point. That's a right turn right there. And what they want to know is the coordinates of this point right here. That's what we're looking for. All right, so, you know, this, this isn't bad. So, I mean, really, you know, you got a line here, you got a line here. We just need to find where the two lines intersect. So the slope of this line, okay, the, the slope of this line, that slope is going to be, let's see, that's going to be two-thirds. That'll be the slope of that line. And how do we know? Because it says it's going in the same direction as this vector. Okay, he's walking in the same direction as this vector. And so if we start here at the origin, we go, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right, yeah. We go, uh, let me get a different color. We go up two and to the right three. So if we're going up two and to the right three, so that's the slope. So the slope of this vector is the same as the slope of this line here, okay? So if you look at this, we have the slope of this line and we have a point on the line, which is the point negative one, two. So we've got a slope of two thirds and a point negative one, two. So let's find the equation of the line that passes through this point and has this slope. So remember we got y minus y one equals m times x minus x one. So y minus two equals two thirds times x plus one. So y minus two is equal to two thirds x plus two thirds so y is equal to two thirds x and then we're going to add whoop, we're going to add two to both sides so that's going to be six over three plus two over three so that's going to be eight over three so that's the equation of this line right here the equation of this line is y equals two thirds x plus eight thirds now we need to find the equation of this line right here Okay, this line right here. Well, we know we know that the slope. Well, where do I want to work that? I'll work it right here. The slope of that line is negative three halves. Okay, so how do we know that? How do we know the slope of this line is negative three halves? Well, it says in the problem 
he made one right angle turn. So that means this line and this line are perpendicular. And remember, lines that are perpendicular, their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So if the slope of this line is two-thirds, then the slope of, of this line right here is negative three-halves. And we have a point on the line, zero, seven. And so we can actually use y equals mx plus b here, where m is the slope right here, and b is the y-intercept. Remember, your y-intercept is in the form 0b. And so we get y equals negative 3 halves x plus 7. And so we have these two lines here. So we're going to set them equal to each other. All right, and to solve it, well, we can multiply everything through by 6, right, to get rid of all the fractions. So that's going to be negative 9x plus 42 equals, uh, let's see, what is that? Is that 4x plus 16? And so that's going to be negative 13x. And then we've got 16 minus 42 is equal to negative 26, so x equal 2. And then to find y, we can take, we can take the x equal 2 and we can plug it into this one or we can plug it into that one. We'll plug it into, the, into this one here. So we get y equals negative 3 halves times 2 plus 7. And so y equals negative 3 plus 7, which equals 4. And so the point that he turns is the point 2, 4. That would, be, that would be this point. Let me just erase that and write it. So our answer is the point. This point right here is the point 2, 4. There's your answer. All right, so I hope that video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.